Best of WDY and JY in New York. Exterior, ocean liner, day. Beautiful background of land and sea, heavy clouds above. Yates, now early 50s, stands on front of the ship, his hair blowing in the wind. Cut to New York City with large skyscrapers. The ship enters the port. Cut to Interior, Yates' father's art studio, bed sit, early evening. John Butler Yates is painting on a large easel while Yates sits nearby. What brings you to see me so suddenly here in New York? John Quinn is paying your rent, an allowance for which I pay him. But it's all getting more expensive, and I have better things to spend my money on. I like New York. I can never have this lifestyle in Dublin, living with my daughters. Here I have my art and my privacy. I can come and go as I please. Maybe that is true, but this is too expensive for me. I don't get regular income, and in your absence, I have to act as the head of the family, which takes up valuable time. Who else bothers to keep your unmarried daughters in rented food? You're shirking your responsibilities. Well, I'm going to stay here in New York. I have no intention of returning. You don't have many responsibilities at all. You have no wife or children. Don't avoid the subject. You could die soon alone in New York. <laughs> That's the way I want to die. Not molly cold and a, like a baby in Dublin. But what about your responsibilities? Who's gonna inherit the family wealth after I'm gone? Hmm? Your brother's married, but his wife, although she's well off, uh, is too old to have children. Your sister's never married either, and they're far too old as well. So what are you gonna do about it? What's it got to do with me? It's none of my business. I look after them, don't I? What more can I do? Well, so you're busy being a famous poet. Uh, uh, so busy that you've forgotten about the, the rest of us. Uh, who will get Jack's money when he and his wife die? Hmm? Or your sister's belongings? Where will they go? Or your royalties? Getting bigger every year, yeah? Who will get your money when you die? You're the head of the family. You decide. You need to come back to Ireland first and then talk to all of us. No. I don't want to talk to you. I'm giving up all my responsibilities for the family. If you ever had any at all. That's right. I was never any good at making decisions. But I won't be around for long. Very soon you'll be the actual head of the family, Willie. And you're already the one able to provide an heir for both generations. To have a son. Otherwise, all that we possess will go to the state. So, I might as well stay over here for all the good that I can do. You're deliberately missing the point. You have to return with me. I can't afford to keep you here. Da. John puts down his brush, shakes his head, and walks to the window pane where several plants sit in the sun. He picks up a watering can and waters them. This is my home, Willie. Don't you see that? I'm happy and content here. i my paintings and liberty. I wouldn't have the same freedom in Ireland. I'll be stuck in a room all day. You always were a selfish bastard. His father turns to him. So are you, obviously. Yates rolls his eyes, picks up his top hat, and heads to the door.